have to go to the CLI and then make sure that you are in the folder where you have the key pen file. So we need to give permission to this. So schmod, schmod um, 400 and then code generator. Now I've given the permission. Now I can basically log in with this. So copy this command and then paste it. Hello, my friends. I hope you are all doing well today. Today, I'm going to break down how to deploy a web application on the internet. When we talk about web application, it's basically a computer on the internet. So literally, you can just use your own computer to deploy web applications, but it is going to be um, tedious configuring it. AWS does provides us with such a service. With AWS, we are able to deploy our application on the internet and it is always going to be up and when time comes for us to scale our application we are also able to scale the application so for instance um, if you are a startup or if you've built a small application you really do not need to um, purchase a lot of um, servers to host the application you can literally um, start hosting your application all in the, on a single server and then you can um, scale from there when your application grows so let's dive right into it so first go to google and search for aws console and then click on the first link then um, you can create an aws account if you are new to it and then you just follow the step you verify your email address and then uh, the next steps will ask a few details about you and it will also ask for your credit card to verify your account i think you won't be charged for it and it's going to be free for one year so i already have an account so i'll go forward to sign into my account once the login is successful you will come to this page and this is going to be your root user account before you do anything in your aws account you need to create an im user so go to the search bar and search for i am user then you will go to um, users now you need to create a new user so you need an i am user whenever you create a new aws account so that you can um, securely manage your account well so for instance if you also want to work with somebody or somebody needs to create um, resources into your AWS account you need to create an IAM user and give them list privileges so in this example we will create a new user so let's say code janitor and then I will click on provide user um, AWS management console now I want to select create an IAM user I do not want auto generate password I want custom password and now I just don't want to change the password when I sign in again click on next and then we need to attach policies to the I am user so you can attach any policy that you want to the I am user but in this example, I'm going to give an administrator access to this user. Now I need to go to next. And then I need to create the user. So we need to copy our data down. So we need to copy the um, username and then the console, uh, the password as well. So username. Okay, you can also download the, S, um, the CSV file. So return to users list. Now we can log out. And then log into the IAM account, IAM user account. So give the account ID. And then we need the username and password that we created.
So now you've successfully logged into your AWS IAM user account and from here we can um, deploy our application. So over here we can create our EC2 instance and then start to deploy our web application. So now we need to create our web server for the application. So let's go here and search for EC2. As you can see, we do not have any um, instance running. We will go to launch instance. And then we will have to select the image. So I will select an Ubuntu image. And now you have to select the instant type so remember to select t2 micro which is going to be free for one year and you also have the possibility to select um, any other type that you want based on your needs also you need to create a key pair and this is going to help you to um, log into your aws account securely from an ssh so we need to create one i already have one created so i will just select this if you don't have one just go to create new one and then give it a name and select the type you want but then if you are using windows remember to select um, the putty file but if you are using macbook or any linux operating system remember to select dot pen file so now we also need to um now we also need to give access to the SSH. So now it's saying that you can SSH into your instance from anywhere, and this is not good practice. So you need to make sure that you are selecting your IP. So I won't open this because if I open, you will see my private IP. So you need to make sure that when you click here, you see your private IP and then you select that one. So I will just move on and then I will launch the instance. So once the instance is launched, view all instances. And then you can see your instance is initializing. This will take a moment, so I'll be back when this is done. So after initializing, um, we need to SSH into the server to configure our web server. So let's click on this and go to connect. And then we have to select SSH. But before we SSH into this instance, we need to make sure we have AWS CLI on our machine. So we can go to Google and search for install AWS CLI. Come to this documentation and then you can basically install it on a Linux system or on a Mac OS system or Windows system. I'm using Mac OS, so I'm going to go for this. Click on um, command line installer, copy this command, and just run it in your terminal. I have already installed it, so I won't do this. Come back when you are done. So when you are done, you can check if it did install by running AWS dash dash version. So you can see you have version 2.4 installed. We need to make sure that um, we can log into our AWS from the CLI. But before we can do this, we need to go to the IAM user. So go to IAM user and then go to users. And then you can see the user that we just created. We need to give, um, we need to create access key for the user so that the user can communicate to the AWS resources from the command line. So let's create an access key. And then we will say um, command line interface. And then we will say, I understand the above. Click on next. You can give a description if you like. And then click on create um, access keys. So now we need to make sure we copy this data and save it securely. And Remember not to share this or expose this to the internet because when somebody have access to this, they can use your AWS resources without any stress.
so please be careful with this one i will copy it and save it somewhere and next i will click on done continue so now we can go to our command line again so when you're on the command line you can say um aws configure now it will ask you for your access key id make sure you paste the um the key id we copied and then also your access key put it here and then the rest will be default 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 so enter 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 once that is done now we can ssh into our aws account so go back to the ec2 and then go to instance click on the instance that we created and then we can uh, go to connect and then we can select ssh so copy this command to securely log into your um your server but before we can do that the the key um the key file that we downloaded we need to make sure we are giving this permission to it so you have to go to the cli and then make sure that you are in the folder where you have the key pen file so we need to give permission to this so schmod schmod and um, 400 and then code generator now i've given the permission now i can basically log in with this so copy this command and then paste it into your terminal and you will be successfully logged into your aws um, web server so um it's asking you to say yes to the first time so yes okay so permission denied um i need to make sure that i have it so i couldn't log in because i need to uh, make sure that i have um, the file in this folder so i need to make sure i move the file here so i will move the file and then i'll run the commands again so i'll clear the screen now i can see i have um, the file here so now let's give the permission again and then now i can ssh into the account so now i've successfully ssh into my web server so now the next thing we need to do is to install the web server onto the server that we have just created so go to google search for install ubuntu uh, install engineers on ubuntu go to this documentation then you can go to install nginx you can copy this to command and then go back to your terminal and paste in these commands so this is going to install the nginx web server onto our operating system so this will take a moment so i'll be back once this is done now it requires us to say yes so yes okay so now we can clear the screen and now we have our um web uh, uh, application deployed so we can basically go to go back to the aws and then go to ec2 click on instances and then click on this instance now we need to assess our web application from this ip because remember any any web application is just a computer on the internet and every computer have an ip address that we can communicate with so we can uh, basically assess our web server on this ip so let's go to the browser again and open a new tab paste in the ip address and just run it um now it's not now we have we, we can't reach the site because um the port 80 is not open because engine x communicates over port 80 so we have to go back to our instance and then we need to come down here you know you see something called security so click on security now when you see this security you can see that we have an inbound rule attached to our um uh, our web server so we need to make sure we are editing our security group so click on this security group now we need to edit the inbound rule for the security group now we already um, given it 
SSH access so we can SSH into the web server but remember please always remember to uh, make it to your private ad uh, IP address not to the public internet so I'll add a new um, a new uh, rule that I'll say HTTP and then I'll click on it and then I'll save the rules okay I want to allow HTTP access from anywhere so I'll click on this and save the rules once you are done go back to this page and run it hopefully um, we have been successfully to deploy our application hopefully moment of truth is still taking longer than usual okay it's not uh, deploying let's let's check and see so let's say um, system system CTL system CTL status nginx well nginx is uh, um, running on our application so hopefully it's been deployed but so basically just needed some time so now it's deployed successfully for us and now we can see that we've successfully deployed our nginx application onto our ec2 web server so you can basically use this to deploy any web application that you have so now that we've done all the manual work to deploy our web application onto the web server this is good enough but what if i told you there is a very simple way to do the whole setup that we just did um, in the next video i'm going to show you how we can use code to deploy the infrastructure and also to deploy the web application onto the web server and then we can access it from the internet so do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video